saßen, sitting in meditation. These words are not guides for an ethical life. They point directly at your own mind. There is no need to talk about moral rules here. I suppose that those listening are already good people. What they desire now are not more moral, moral rules and precepts, but a final awakening. So that they will see themselves and the world around in a new way. All people are ill, ill of ignorance. That is a serious illness which makes them suffer their whole life. How can you cure yourself of this illness? First you have to know that you are ill and then find the right medicine to cure it. And what is that medicine? Wisdom, right understanding. Heal your mind with the medicine of wisdom. But there are so many medicines. Which one should you take? Life is too short to try them all out. But some of them can make you even more sick than you are now. At the end, when you look back on your life, all the books you read, all the sermons you listened to, all the exercises you practiced, all the teachings you followed, that believed in for some time, you will see all that just as a heap of trash. Ask yourself, did they free me from the life and death bondage? Am I repeating the same errors, the same stupidities again and again? A good way to cure yourself is sasya, sitting in meditation. I cross the legs so that I cannot get up so easily. The hands are linked together so that they don't take up things and holy books. The eyes are half shut so that they don't distinguish between beautiful or ugly. The ears are closed so that they will not hear talks about vice and virtue. The nose is a stare so that it will not smell good or bad. This body has nothing on which to lean on. When thoughts arise, they are passing like clouds in the sky, leaving no trace. Thoughts rise and fall endlessly, but the mind is just a mirror. It does not hold them back. It just let them go. A mirror just reflects what is in front of it. It does not hold back beautiful things. It does not reject ugly things. It does not judge. It reflects everything impartially as it is. It does not try to hold on to what is passing by. It does not cling to what is pleasant. It does not reject what is unpleasant. Images come and images go. No clinging no rejecting. There is nothing to be attained. There is nothing to be rejected. 
There is no goal to be pursued. There is no goal to be reached. Sitting in meditation is no net to charge after enlightenment. The sitting itself is already enlightenment. Sitting itself is the goal. Right now. Endless sitting with legs crossed for many hours every day while the mind goes around and around and you have not meditated, not even for one moment. It is just the appearance of meditation. Just sitting and nothing more. Not thinking about you something, not even sitting and thinking about not thinking, not trying to empty the mind, not striving to become enlightened, just sitting, fully aware, fully awake, just sitting and nothing more.